Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. Today I wanted to share a six month progress report slash flip through of my A6 Hone. Um, this is the Emma and Georgina colorway by Liberty Fabrics. It is in the Hobonichi A6 Hone clear cover and I did stick one of these stickers from my shop on the front just because I liked the, the butterfly thing. Here is the chunk factor. Um, she is chunky, uh, very chunky. I have stuck several things in this planner considering I use this for more like art, ink, and pen pals and things like that. It's more of a fun planner, if you will, or journal. And I will say I have not used this at all to the full potential that I originally intended to use it at the beginning of the year. In the front pages, I did not end up coloring in this coloring page from the Coffee Monsters Co. It is still the same way it was when I got it, um, and I think I'm okay with that. I may actually leave it blank at this point. I haven't really decided, but everything else um, is pretty much the same. I did end up adding this cute little pen dragon from Goulet Pens um, from one of the Goulet Pens orders that I've had so far this year. For the Calendex pages, I originally, well, I guess for the year at a glance pages, um, I didn't have any intentions for this, but for the Calendex pages, I originally wanted to use this as a log of the different inks. So um, here's like yellow inks, and I wanted to do just a stripe of like all of the different colors I had in my collection. When I started this with the yellows, um, I had good intentions, but I never followed through with any other color and I didn't even finish my yellows. So there's that. Um, for the first month, I ended up using this as a swatch page when I did my um, video series of the Diamine Purple ink vent. I did one ink a day and then oh, I think a video at the end showcasing everything together. Really was happy with the purple ink vent colors. There were several that I was huge fans of. I ended up ordering full bottles of the Cashmere Rose and the Jacaranda just because I really liked those two a lot. Um, but there's so many others that I would be willing to get a full bottle of, but I don't think I just used those colors enough to use more than what I got with the small bottles that came in the ink vent itself. And then my plan was for every month after that to kind of do again that color series. So yellow inks and then green inks and then blue inks or whatever. And I started with the yellows again, didn't finish and just kind of never picked up this again. I may go back through at some point in the, end, the rest of the year, like the second half of the year and do this. I just don't... I don't know. I think I, I like my ink swatching in other places, but I did enjoy the little bit that I did do at the beginning of that. Then I did a fountain pen inventory page spread with the turning the page blank pages in this Hobonichi Hon, and I still have not updated this list completely, um, but I'm interested to see how this list will look at the end of the year. So if I ended up making it to the other side of the page or not. Then for the daily pages, I ended up using these as a curly ink swatch section slash pasting in things from pen pals. So January, these were all the pens that I had inked up and the colors I chose. And then I ended up doing larger swatches of each of the inks. And I love this. I definitely want to continue this. Um, this is so much fun to me getting to look at the bigger swatches of what I was using and then also having a brief writing sample underneath of how everything went. Um, this is a letter from Allison, one of my pen pals. And then I think for the rest of January, I didn't have anything else in here. Let me see. Oh no. Okay. So then I got another, um, I did another ink swap and I think this one was from Lori. Yeah. So Lori sent me some inks and then later on in the month, I think I swatched whatever inks I was swapped with as well. Um, but here is February, lots of pinks because I was feeling the love. I don't know. Sometimes just, it's fun to have themes and I do theme every month of ink colors that I choose just because it's fun for me. And then I don't think I did anything pasting wise in February. So although all of these pages are blank, like some of the pages per month are blank, I will likely go back in and fill them with something at some point. I don't like to waste paper, especially the Tomoe River paper that I love so much. Um, but it'll likely just be art at a later date. It probably won't have any kind of 
um, meaning to that month itself. Here is March, which I just love the bright colors I picked for March. I was really feeling, yeah, spring for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so here is another pen pal letter. Um, who is this one from? I don't want to like show their letter. Oh, this is from Courtney. Okay. So Courtney from Hawaii, Aloha, sent me these inks and I did a little swatch of those. Oh, this was the Roar and Cleaner sketch inks, um, which later I did get the black one from Jana Lyon, I believe. Uh, this was the calligraphy ink from Ferris Wheel Press for the month of March. It was Ultramarina. It's a gorgeous blue. It definitely has a um, like nice painting look to it. Uh, this was from Mary, and then I got some more inks from Ferris Wheel Press, and then I got a new document ink from Diatribentis, and then some um, uh, Birmingham Pen Company. This was from, I believe, Zavi. Yeah, Zavi sent me all of these as a Tom Inks, and I ended up buying full bottles of every single one of them. Um, and she even sent me photos of the really cool ink journal she made herself, which is just amazing. Here is April. Lots of nice purpley colors. Probably I picked that for my birthday is my guess. Um, and then I did the eight pen question tag um, on YouTube with everybody. I think Simone had signups and I decided to participate. Um, and then I got another pen pal letter from Allison. This one was from Priscilla. She sent me these really cool cutouts of like moons and stuff. And then, oh, this was my swap with Jana Lyon. So cool. Um, her sticker shop, Fox and Fennel, Fox Glove and Fennel is so, so cute. The butterflies I think are my ultimate favorite and she did some other floral ones, which are really cool. Um, but yeah, she swapped all these and I got the black sketch ink, which is really nice. And then I got some more Fair Soul Press inks. Um, this was when Sorsha sent me like 20 something inks and I, I was in awe and she introduced me to the Kiwi ink brand, which is so, so cool. I think Mermaid Black is still my favorite one. I don't know. Emerald Green's really pretty too. She has so many good ones. Um, and she sent me a lot of really cool red inks that I'd never tried before. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then I had another ink swap with Kristen, um, which these are the ink she sent me and I ended up saving the wax seal that she sent. This is so cool. Um, and I, I love having it in here to look back on. And then Sarah also sent me inks in, uh, April and I didn't have enough room to swatch those two, but I, I don't know if I swatched them somewhere else actually. Anyways, here is May. Love KWC grapefruit. And then I don't know if I had anything I pasted in for May. Yeah, nothing for May. And then June, I don't think I've pasted anything from June either. Just the curly inked for that month. Yeah, I think that's it. So first six months of this planner have been really nice. Um, I do like using it for the inks and pen pals and stuff like that, but I don't know how I feel about using it for art purposes now that I've used it primarily for ink. Uh, we shall see. Obviously there's six months left and I don't plan on stop using this. I'm just not going to use it every day. And so there's that. And the notes pages in the back, these are the writing samples I did for that purple ink vent. Um, I haven't added anything new. And then for the extra pages, um, at the end of the year, I'm hoping to come back in and do handwriting. And then also update my ink inventory, which has drastically changed already um, this year. I definitely have a lot more other colors than like the bulk of my inks used to be just green, purple, and brown. And I have so many more of the other colors now, um, either thanks to swaps or gifts or anything like that. Like it's just been really fun. Then I used the favorites page to kind of showcase my favorite inks that I used each month. Um, so January was these three, February, March, I did four, 
April I did those three, May I did these three, and then June I also did four. And um, I actually ran out of ink of the Pilot Roshizuku Tsutsuji in my pen, so I couldn't even make a decent swatch because I wrote it literally completely dry. So there's that, but that one was really fun for June. And then I think that's pretty much it. I was going to use the My 100 page as a place to record inks that I have purchased in 2024, um, but I never ended up filling this out. I do have a spreadsheet that I reference all of my ink information though, so this isn't necessarily a, a necessity. Um, it was more of like a way to just use the pages and I never filled it out. And then this, I wanted to do the color family by month when I was doing my initial swatches in the monthly spreads in the beginning of the book. And again, I did yellows and that's it. <laughs> the rest of these pages I do have together because um, they have personal information or addresses that I do not want to put on the internet. So I will not be showing those. Overall, love this chunky book. I like that the binding is holding really well for the... I guess more hardbound Hobonichi since this was a newer edition this year. They did have the Hones in 2023 but it wasn't available in the in all the sizes or like all of the yeah A5 I think they only had A6 and they had a lot more colors to choose from this year but I do like that this is holding really well with the amount of stuff that I have shoved into it and that the fluff is doing okay. I do think by the end of the year I will likely have to put one of the rivet bands around this to keep it closed, um, but I definitely have enjoyed putting as much as I have in this thing. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, for joining me here today. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to chat about inks and stationery and anything. Maybe I'll weigh this at the end of the year, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.